Well, we've lived with COVID-19 for more than two and a half years now. Can you believe it's been yeah. two and a half years? Eh? And while life is getting back to normal, new variants are still developing and people continue to get the virus. As we plan to gather together for the holidays and spend more time indoors, where do we stand with this virus and how concerned should we be? Cardiovascular disease expert Dr. Nidhi Kumar joins us with some important answers. Dr. Kumar, good to have you with us again. Hey, good morning. So how concerned should we be? We always hear about these new variants that are cropping up. I guess how much of a concern is this now? Okay, well, new variants are expected. We are always going to have new variants. That's part of the evolutionary process. But when variants hit the news, it's because they're stronger. They're more efficient with infection and transmission. And what we're seeing with the new variants right now is that they're more contagious when we compare them to last year's variants, anywhere from two to seven times more contagious. So more contagious, but more serious? So the two variants that we're watching in our area, B1 and B1.1, you'll, you'll see those letters and numbers in the news. Uh, they are right now accounting for about 30% of the new infections in our area. They are very transmissible, but not necessarily more dangerous. So right now we're not seeing that same level of severe respiratory disease in the hospital, but we are seeing more people get infected. Yeah. So when more people get infected, more people get hospitalized. Now, the other problem is the timing right? Yeah. Because these two are arriving just in time for the holidays. What about as far as the vaccines are concerned? With the new vaccine that's out there, a good remedy to combat this? Yeah, so that's the thing about these new variants. So these new variants have mutations. Yeah. And those mutations make the vaccine, the vaccine absolutely will prevent you from having severe disease, but these new variants are able to break through vaccines and natural immunity. So as a cardiologist, your concerns about COVID and heart health, for example, we understand that it's another risk for uh, heart disease. Yes. So the connection between COVID and the heart is inflammation. So inflammation is actually a major driver of heart disease. And what COVID does is it creates an incredible inflammatory response with the body. So what we see clinically in the short term is we see myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart muscle. We see arrhythmias, inflammation of the heart muscle can actually affect the electrical system of the heart and cause disturbances in heart rhythm. And then we see blood clots, and that's inflammation of the blood vessels. What that does is it triggers the uh, clotting system of the body and you form blood clots. So that's what we're seeing in the short term. But now we also have long term data, right? Because it's been two, two and a half years. So long term, we see premature heart attacks. We see cardiomyopathy, which is weakening of the heart muscle. And then we see strokes. And this is across all people, regardless of age, regard, regardless of gender or race, and also regardless of pre-existing cardiac risk factors. So you don't have to have high blood pressure, cholesterol, obesity, diabetes. Just having COVID alone at this point is considered a risk factor for cardiac disease. Mm. Which answers uh, the next question I would have is that it seems that people are less fearful of COVID these days, but yeah. is that just wishful thinking and a false sense of comfort? Well, I don't want people to be scared. We've been scared yeah. for two years. So I think at this point, it's not about being scared, but it's about being smart. So this disease is gonna continue to evolve and it's gonna continue to get smarter. And so we have to evolve and we have to get smarter to deal with it. Um, as a medical community, we're gonna have to develop more therapies, better boosters. Um, but as individuals, we need to change our mindset, right? Because the old mindset, was, okay, I've been vaccinated, I've been boosted, or I had COVID, so now I have a hall pass. Yeah. I can pretty much go out and do whatever I want. Uh, that's not gonna work because these new variants have mutations. And so despite being vaccinated, despite having prior immunity, you can still get infected and you can still infect others. So um, we're really gonna have to change our behavior. So let's talk about this holidays. You got Thanksgiving right around the corner. In years past, it's been like, okay, we're not getting together. We don't wanna be in the same house the same room, let alone the same table. Right. Now with these new variants that are out there, we're seeing cases again on the rise. Yeah. What do we do about Thanksgiving? Yeah. Is it safe to go with your family and travel and do this and do that? Okay, so here's what we need to do so we can actually enjoy this holiday season. 
first we need to find our masks. I don't know if they're in the bottom of your sock drawer, <laughs> wherever you put those masks, we need to get those masks out again, particularly when we're in crowded public places or when we're traveling. Because remember, it's not just COVID circulating right now. We have new variants, we have RSV, and we have influenza. So we have three bugs out there that are looking for hosts yeah. for this holiday season, and you don't want to be hosting them. So that's number one. Number two, get a flu shot. This year, we're actually worried about co-infections, where people are going to get infected with COVID and influenza at the same time. So if there is ever a year to get a flu shot, this is the year to do it. Yeah. And um, then finally, you need to change your behavior. And you're going to need to change your behavior the week leading up to those events. So if you're planning on attending Thanksgiving dinner and you're going to sit next to grandma and your pregnant cousin, you probably don't want to go to a crowded rock concert yeah. the week right. before no and, no raves. Raves. and not wear a mask. No raves in the right. advice. So, yeah. so that's the thing. So we have to just be smart about it. You know, that time leading up to these important events, and these are important events during the holidays, just make some modifications to your behaviors. Well, we appreciate your advice. Thanks so much for being with us, Dr. Kumar.